Hi, so in this video, we will see the example of installing RabbitMQ on a Ubuntu server. So let's get started. So first of all, we'll create a VM virtual machine from Azure. If you have, you can skip a little st steps, but I'm creating from scratch. So go to the virtual machine, create, or if you are using AWS or Google Cloud, you can create the same over there as well. So I'll give the name RB001, password and user. Very simple to install in Ubuntu. I'll share the steps in a resource section. So go to resource and click on the connect and go to the command prompt SSH and to clear provide yes and put your password. Try sudo su. First of all, we'll have to update. Then we will do upgrade. Say yes. Now we need to try this RabbitMQ to install the server. sudo or we already have sudo apt install simple RabbitMQ hyphen server. Now, uh, to enable the management, that GUI, where we will see uh, the user and password, that will have to en enable the plugin. So, RabbitMQ plugin, enable RabbitMQ underscore management. Okay. So, now, in case of Azure, we'll have to go to the networking to enable the ports, inbound ports. So go to the networking and add inbound port 5762 and 15762. Apologize, that is 5672. And then we have to add another that is for management 15672. Okay, but there is a catch. I will show you what. If you try, you will get the UI, but you won't be able to log in. We can solve that. If you try with the default username and password, it may give you some sort of error. Yes, you can. User can try login via localhost. 
so what we have to do we have to in uh, create another user and enable it okay so how there are simple three commands so first using the command line rabbit mq ctl add user test and password test just give him an administrator right set user tax test administrator okay and just give the, all the permission i share all these commands in the resource section you can try okay now let's try with the test test user and test password that's it we are we are able to successfully install on ubuntu so try this or if you are not using the ubuntu if you are using the windows you can try the best option i would choose is a docker or maybe a kubernetes okay thank you so much see you the next time